इस वीडियो सीरीज को बनाने का मकसद यही था कि मुझे दूसरे चैनल से अलग बनना था I can do vlogs, I can do decent storytelling, but there must be something that separates me from the crowd, right? So I hope you like this experiment. As a curious kid, I've always wondered myself doing superhero stuff. I know you all must have did the same at some point of your life, right? Growing up, my favorite was Spider-Man. I've always dreamed of impressing my friends swinging like Spider-Man across buildings. But now when I've grown up a bit, I know that's not possible. Or is it? My name is Vedh and I'm a second year student at NIT Warangal studying chemical engineering. And I welcome you all to Being an Engineer episode 1. Let's do this. We all know the iconic Peter Parker character, right? A guy gets beaten by so and so spider and suddenly he can do flips, he can climb buildings, he can flex his body, he can swing across the city. Okay. Except in the Tobey Maguire series, the other two Spider-Mans were shown to develop their spider sense themselves, which is not kind of possible by a single human. You see, we can't harvest spider silk like we harvest silk worms. Let me explain. You see, spiders are cannibalistic, which means we can't put them in a single tank with a bunch of other spiders like we are with silk worms. Because they are aggressive and will kill each other. What we will have to do is put one spider in one tank, which won't work either because one spider isn't enough to produce that much silk. Does it mean we can't produce spider silk? No. Scientists have actually found a way to do it in laboratories using bioengineering. You see, they put the genes of spiders in some bacteria or silkworms or goats. Yeah, goats too. And when these guys produce spider silk, they spin them around to produce a real spider silk stand. So basically, we can get hands on spider silk. But the real question is, can we put a human suspended to it? See, that's easy to find out. We'll just need the tensile strength of spider silk. And according to ChatGPT, it's around 1.1 gigapascal of natural spider silk. And if you want to create a strand of let's say 2 mm, just put that in the formula and there you go. That's 3454 Newton or basically 352 kgs. And considering your mass is 75 kgs and swinging forces will be 3 to 4 times of it, it's still less than 350 kgs. And yeah, that's actually incredible because it's as strong as some steels, being more lighter and more flexible at the same time. But there's a problem though. Yeah. We can't mass produce spider silk efficiently. To create a strand of diameter 2 mm and let's say 10 meter long, it would take a hell lot of spider silk, which would take a lot of time to produce. But we've got a solution for that as well. You see, when you create a tube of carbon attached to each other like this, keeping the diameter in nanometer range, we call it carbon nanotubes and you won't believe how strong they are. But again, we can't produce such nanotubes using spider silk cause it can only be created by one single element like carbon. And spider silk is not made of one element, it's a complex structure. What's actually possible is we can combine spider silk and carbon nanotubes which makes it 5 to 10 times stronger than the previous one. So we have got the materials, we have built the stands, but until we miniaturize our winches, we perfect our aim and develop some smart adhesives, Spider-Man swinging will be in the laboratories, not the skyline. But that's not science fiction, that's engineering in progress. Driving alone, I'll be jamming some LFO on the radio. If you're an engineer, you can actually find a way to bring superheroes to life. Let me know what you love to see in this Being an Engineer video series further. My Instagram and blog link is in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, be happy, be fit, and work hard. See ya. Love you so much. Cause I got a guilty pleasure. People look at me like I should know better, but.